Hi guys, Don Rice here, and I'm getting ready to do the final system check on the the wing for the Top Flight Giant Scale P47, and or at least the electrical system check, and so I can sign off on that and say that it's ready to go. Uh, so we can take a quick look at uh, the detail here. You can see the streaking uh, in the paint that, that came from those dirty washes. Uh, that 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 I did last week. I really liked the the effect that that had. Um, something else I had gotten from uh, Get Stencils, along with all the paint stencils and the nose art and everything else. Uh, where's my zoom? Was uh, letters like this. So there's words and stuff all over the plane. I weathered some of them, didn't weather others. I, who cares? And um, you know, some people should will tell me that the the yellow would probably mostly be gone, but then you couldn't read it. And I want people to know what that says. So, you know, don't push there. Duh. Invasion stripes, and so you can see some streaking back through here, which is the you know a little bit of uh, you know from the guns and and dirt and weather and who knows what um, but it's all nice and dirty I love it that is a JR11X and so that's the rest of the radio gear going on here and let me show you this thing a lot of you guys are already aware of these um, that is an ash lock type connector so all of the wing servos, all the wires have been split out and uh, I crimped some ash lock leads on them and it's a locking type connector you can see the lock here and all you gotta do is press that lock pull these things apart and you're good to go. It's a single connector for the whole wing. No chance to mess everything up. I mean, there's plenty of chance, of course, to mess everything up uh, when you're actually, you know, crimping the wires and getting it all hooked up. But if you do it right, you do it right. And you really don't ever have to think about it again. So those things are awesome. And so look up Ashlock. Uh, and give them a try. The twisted wire there is stuff that uh, I made and um, I made up these 18 inch long leads to go from that connector there in the wing to the receivers and the match boxes in the fuselage. So this is, uh, this is the aileron match box. This is the flap match box. Why am I using match boxes? Well I've got 11 servos in this airplane. I have no idea why I have 11 servos in this airplane, but I do. And I've only got a 9 channel receiver here. Um, can I buy an 11 or a 12 channel receiver? Sure. But, you know what, who cares? I'm using matchboxes. So, it clears up a, a couple of channels to make some of the programming later easier. So, matchboxes are nice and uh, it allows you to set individual centers um, individual endpoints for left and for right and they all operate off one channel which is the aileron channel so there's one lead here going into the receiver and that goes into the aileron channel two leads coming out of it going to the two wing servos for the aileron same thing goes on here for the flaps two servos coming in only one lead going into the flap channel on the receiver so I get to power four servos independently. I can program them all independently, and uh, and they work great. So, uh, what else we got here? Um, that looks like a pound of Simtex. It's not. It's just my bench power supply. And so, in addition to the nine-channel receiver, which is one of their uh, I don't know what they're called. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but they've got these 
large gauge wires inputs, I put Dean's plugs on them because all my battery packs have Dean's plugs. Uh, they don't come with Dean's plugs, they come with, I don't know, some blue things. And so this is a satellite receiver, another satellite, a third satellite. All of that stuff is going to get mounted into the fuselage. And uh, But for now, what we'll do is we'll turn on the transmitter and turn on the receiver. Okay, so I, I programmed these things last night, but I didn't have them hooked up. I didn't have this thing wired. Um, I was operating off individual servo wires here, um, and I was only doing one channel at a time. So this is, this is the first time it's all been powered up. I expect everything's going to be will work fine. Just checking centering. All looks good. Actually, it looks like everything's up just a little. Of course, I did this all last night upside down, so I might have to make a couple of adjustments, but let's see what happens. Uh, right aileron. Can we see this aileron? Left aileron. Awesome. Good deal. All right, let's take a look at what the flaps do. Half flaps. This should be 25 degrees. It's on a two second delay. And full flaps, which is 47 degrees, which is on a two second delay, all the way up. All the way down. All the way up. Far up. All right. So, electrically, I am done with this wing. So, I can sign off on that and get busy on the fuselage which probably has another 20-25 hours of work left to do before next weekend and uh, so later